Today we're going to talk about belt deflection and belt alignment. I'm going to show you a few things here, maybe it'll help you. Belt deflection and belt tightness are kind of the same thing. Belt alignment is when the belt is aligned between your two clutches. When you start burning belts, it's usually because your alignment is out. When you have poor performance, it's usually your deflection is out. I'm going to kind of explain a few things here. So I know it's kind of sometimes can be confusing. We'll do it on this old girl because it's just a little easier. Now remember in the other videos, I, I, I mentioned something about a chalking your clutch. This clutch was chalked and I have very little chalk left on this clutch. So my clutch tuning is almost perfect. You can see how much chalk is left on this one, not very much. It rubs it clean. You don't have to worry about it getting on your belt. That's why we use chalk, because it's light. It's got no sticky residue. It's got nothing on it. It's dry, right? Um, as, as a tuner, most guys, most tuners will say out there, if you want to see how your clutches are performing, we chalk the clutch. So I've got a piece of chalk. This is called chalking the clutch. Inside to out. Just do this all the way around. You'll be able to tell how high your clutch is, your belt is running in your primary. So if you, let's say you got that much chalk left, you're not using all your clutch. What does that mean? Well, there's many things. Either your weights are too light, you're over revving, your helix is too steep, you can't pull it, or you're geared way too tall and you just can't get it going. I mean, there's many things to consider, but that tells me my clutch is not working right, or to potential. So you're probably gonna end up with some hot clutches. That's another thing. You gotta check your clutches all the time, see if they're hot. So that's chalking the clutch. So we're gonna get to, we're gonna talk about belt alignment and deflection. This is an alignment bar. You get from Polaris. Well, Cat has them, different sleds. Different places had them. Rex Supply in Saskatoon sells them. Um, to align your clutch, this is how you kind of put it on your primary and then you check the deflection or the, the clearance between the back of your primary or your secondary and the front of your secondary. Should be like an eighth of an inch, give or take in there. Now that is Polaris to Polaris. So as you notice, this is a Paragon. The inner shiv is a little thinner. So, and it's adjusted different. Basically the same concept. It's just that you gotta take into account the, the, the thickness of the shivs. So that is your alignment, belt alignment. Deflection is how tight the belt is. So we're gonna install this belt back on here. Roll it all the way around. What I like to do, I like to spin it until it's tight, like real tight. Now that to me is awesome deflection. You're gonna get a good, good grip out of that. You're gonna get good bottom end. So I think spec in the book is to put a line on here and push down on here with a 10 pound weight and have one inch or something. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but. And then some of those guys say, oh no, you need an eighth to a quarter inch of belt above your secondary. Well, belts vary in size all the time because they mass produce them. So the best is just to get your belt nice and tight. See, that's pretty good. I can still spin the belt, the shivs still move. To me, that's good deflection. To loosen the belt, we're gonna turn in the adjuster clockwise, which pushes this inner shiv that way which drops the belt in the secondary. So that's gonna loosen your, your, your deflection. So if I take this, if I screw this in just a little bit, it pushes on that. If you can see it, it drops the belt into the shiv. Now we got a looser deflection. If your belt is squealing because it's too tight, then you have to loosen it off just like that. See, that's good deflection. You can still spin the belt, it's still pretty tight. To me, it's perfect. Um, if you really want to get technical, tighten it till it squeals when it's warm and then back it off just a little bit and you'll be perfect. So if you don't have 
a clutch alignment tool. Take any straight edge. Um, you can use, say, a pry bar that isn't bent. Or, yeah, any kind of straight edge. I'm just, for illustrations, I'm going to use my clutch alignment tool. But as a straight edge. So I'm going to put it on the inside of the primary. I'm going to run it down past the secondary. I'm going to take a tape measure. Everybody can read a tape measure. I want it an eighth. So we got, what do we got there? 19 mil there. And about 17 mil, 16 mil there. So that tells me my deflection, or my belt alignment is perfect. And that's another way you can tell if you run in secondary, like uh, aftermarket secondaries, and you wanna, your clutch alignment tool doesn't quite work. Uh, that's one of the other ways to do it, is just use a straight edge. Hit that subscribe button, guys, and turn on that bell notification. I'm gonna send you all our cool vids. Thanks for tuning in.